In summary, we provided every recorded document for analysis and study during the survey and query of water surface shape on Lake Testamina, Alaska. Please consider watching our presentation. Currently, immense millions of people doubt the Earth is a globe, because the globe is religiously parroted without first-hand knowledge, known as hearsay. This conclusive study settles the controversy, deleting the boundaries between social classes, through affordable and trustworthy science and faith. The spoken audio during the raw footage contains raw errors for record purpose and is not the final conclusion of the study. We are very thankful to be liberally sharing the entire study, as truth is an invaluable possession.
Oh yeah, there's fish. Why is there ice fish here? Uh, they probably do. I mean, I, I don't know them, but they probably do. Anyway, we're on ice, and that is the ice. This is the lake. And uh, there's the shore ice right there, beaten up. Maybe you can see that. Anyway. Oh yeah, you can definitely see the shore ice down there. Let me see if I can zoom in real quick. Uh, I only got, only got <laughs> one finger that I can. There's the shore. There's the shore ice. All right, we're on the lake. Here's the panorama. Here's where we're setting up. Cheese. And uh, there's the shore ice from the waves lapping up as it was freezing. So we're, we're plenty on the lake. We're standing on water. And we drilled down yesterday. And uh, yeah, it's like thicker than 13 inches, so. do the shore we can.
the whole island, if you continue to your uh, continue going along the shore, you're going to take a bend to the left. And if you take that bend to the left, I'm not going to be able to see you. But when you come back around to the right, you'll come back into my view shortly. Um, I can't. I'm not. Anyway, do you understand?
are you at the, the Google Home with me? Okay, that's where you're at, then that is eight miles and I still have you in sight. Um, why don't you just keep going uh, and when you get to the, uh, now we're going to do this again because I definitely messed up on the panning. I lost you for a long time. I did find you again though. Um, why don't you go until... Um, There's another place that uh, there's a peak at. It's not the 14 mile, but it's like the 10 mile. It's rubbed off on mine, so I, it's, yeah, it's the 10 mile, because the next one's the 11 mile. It's past the 1670 uh, on your map. I'm sure you probably don't have any peaks. Uh, you should be near the 14. talking to me, man. I've heard nothing this whole time. Absolutely nothing. I'm going to 
shut the generator off here, and then I'm going to see if I can hear you. <laughs> So this is the Udelhoven tree. This is where we were, where we rode to. The Udelhoven. Okay. And uh, here's the pan. We were way over there. And uh, he's gonna keep going. He'll be around this bend here. All right, there he is, 11 miles away. Ugh. Ugh. And he's way over there. That's 11 miles way out there. I've got a four millimeter lens on with a three times Barlow lens. Now we're gonna go to the laser and uh, go from there.
All right, go. All right, I'm gonna take off. <laughs> All right, you're in the center of my frame right now. the shore yet? I didn't hear you, but I see you've stopped. Can't hear nothing. Nothing over. Okay, now I can hear you. Okay, you just came through really, really clear for me. Are you at the shore? Yeah, I'm pointing the radio back. Well, I mean, I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I got a little ways to get out of the shore. Just not. I'm not too far off the shore. Yeah, I can see you like plain as day, like the whole sled and everything. So you might as well just, if you feel comfortable at the distance you are from the shore, uh, just can you continue on ahead. I mean, I got a little bit of shake in this, but it's it's coherent enough that you can follow what's going on. Hey, and then, uh, I mean, you know, I said, or at the sand bank or whatever. Oh yeah, I mean, I can see with my naked eye, actually. Um, and you're, you're right at it. I mean, it, there's gonna be a, so the whole island, if you continue to your, uh, continue going along the shore, you're gonna take a bend to the left. And if you took that bend to the left, I'm not gonna be able to see you, but when you come back around to the right, you'll come back into my view shortly. Um, I can't, I'm not, anyway, do you understand?
Scott, you're the one on this sled, man. Safe and reasonable, that's all I can say. see you so if you want to do this a second time we can come back and start over again and I can probably get the camera a little smoother but it's up to you all right keep going then go 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 When you get to the shore, I need you to stop. Copy that. When you get to the shore, I need you to stop.
Scott, I lost you a long ways ago. Like, that's, <clears throat> I, I'm trying to talk to you, but I don't know if you can hear me. I lost you because the camera panned up a little bit, and so I couldn't look at the lake. What's that? I was trying to track you, but I couldn't because the camera panned up, and so I was fighting it vertically as well as the stand is just super light, and so I was just trying to, I was lifting the stand up trying to adjust the camera. So I lost sight of you. Um, I had you clearly in my camera. I could see you plain as day, but I just lost you because I bumped the camera and then couldn't find you again. Hold on, your transmission cut out. What's that? Can you hear me? Are you on the shore? Are you okay? Can you hear me? Are you okay? Okay, you came in really, really garbled. Are you, shut the sled off if you're on the shore, and maybe that'll help with the interference. And yeah. Okay, I know you probably didn't hear me, but I lost you on the camera a while ago. And it's not because you went out of sight, it's because I was trying to pitch the camera upward because the camera was falling, uh, was actually was zoomed in higher than the shore, so I couldn't even see the shore anymore. And the, the stand was picking up and whatnot, so I, I couldn't see you, so I lost sight of you because of the pan. Well, here's, here's what I would suggest. Now, I don't know if you've got a line of sight with me, but if you could try to turn the sled back towards me, I might be able to see the headlight. I don't know, but it's worth a shot. Can you say again? I didn't hear you.
see you, I see you, I see you, I see you. Okay. You you are moving, weren't you? Hey, can you hear me? I don't know if you're trying to communicate with me, but can you hear me? Okay, well, I'm pointing it right at you. I can see you, okay? I've got you back in the site, and uh, you said you're at the Udelhoven tree? Can you hear me? Are you at the Udelhoven tree? Hey, copy one, two, one, two. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Over. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, you came through really choppy, but you said you could hear me. I have a visual on you. I can see you. You are in my sight. Are you at the, the Udelhoven tree? Copy, can you hear me? Over. Yeah. <laughs> Is your snow machine running? Okay, that's pro I don't know. I think there might be interference coming from it because you're obviously hearing me, but I'm not hearing you as well. You're coming through very garbled on my end and often not at all. Okay, what about now? Yeah. Absolutely, I heard that perfect. Okay, can you repeat that? Because it cut out. Over. Yeah, man, I can't, I can't hear you. I don't know. Uh, like, if you're hearing me, great, but I can't hear you. Okay, I did hear you say, I can hear you, I don't know, and it sounded like the snow machine was running, um, but uh, I don't know, it was really crackly on my end, that's why I say it sounded like the snow machine was running, I'm not saying it is, but um, I, like I said, I can see you, can you just tell me if you're at the Udelhoven tree, make sure you press the button for like a second or two before you start talking. Okay, that's where you're at, and that is eight miles, and I still have you in sight. Um, why don't you just keep going, uh, and when you get to the, uh, now we're going to do this again because I definitely messed up on the panning. I lost you for a long time. I did find you again, though. Um, why don't you go until, um, There's another place that uh, there's a peak at. 
it's not the 14 mile, but it's like the 10 mile. It's rubbed off on mine, so I, it's, yeah, it's the 10 mile, because the next one's the 11 mile. It's past the 16, 17 uh, on your map. I'm sure you probably don't have your, uh, you should be near the 14, 15 mark right now. I'm pretty sure, though. And the way it's looking, I'm not sure if you transmitted to me in this time, but the way it's looking, dude, I think I might be able to see you 14 miles away. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I think I'm going to be able to see you at 10, no problem, because you're still fairly large. It's just going to be hard to keep you when I'm, when I'm panning, that's all. If you're talking to me, man, I've heard nothing this whole time. Absolutely nothing. I'm gonna shut the generator off here, and then I'm gonna see if I can hear you. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just Well, if you want to continue on, the thing is, is I would almost prefer, I would almost prefer if, if, if you're comfortable with it, Scott, can we do this again? Um, this time, I'm not going to try to digital zoom in or anything. I'm just going to do regular zoom because, dude, I can see you. I mean, like, I can see you the whole time. So, except that I lost you, like, is what I'm saying. Like, when I could see you, I could see you, and it's... If you want to keep going, you can keep going, but the, the video is not really all that stellar. So, it's up to you. Well, what, just come back and turn around and do it again? Yeah, it's up to you. We can keep going, though. Here, let me just zoom out real quick. I'm going to zoom all the way out, and then I'm going to zoom back all the way in. Don't move, though, because I'll lose you zooming all the way out. Just want people to know that this is this is eight miles away, right there. There are the boots. So now I'm gonna have to zoom back in. It's gonna drop the exposure quite a bit. Oh, I don't know. I knew you'd. I knew you were gonna lose them. <laughs> and I didn't. No, because remember, I thought we were looking at them back there. Nope, I, I walked off from them and I saw them in your windshield um, as I uh, walked away from you while you were putting your helmet on. So they're, they're on the ground out there. Yeah, and you had the only copy of the uh, of the shoreline up close, so.
So you have no map. That's what you're telling me. Yeah, I guess so. Because I just jumped out of the snow. Yeah, at the beginning of the windshield. Like, tucked in. I know. And then I thought we put it. Yeah. And, um, and then I thought we looked at it. I don't know if it was your son. Well, when I walked over to you. That's not good because you're going to have to go completely out of memory unless you come back. So. I was thinking, honestly, I just was thinking of folding. Anyway, come back, come back. We're going to re-record this. I'm going to give you my map. Um, and just fold it up and put it in your jacket, man. Yeah. If you see them on the way back, cool. But All right. All right, man, just, uh, I'll see you when you get here. John, I'm out on the lake right now, actually. Are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm on the lake right now, and I just watched Scott drive off eight miles, and I can still see him. And when Scott gets back, he's ripping back on the sled right now. Um, so he'll, he'll be able to tell you. Um, yeah, the service isn't very good out here. shooting a red laser, I'm not shooting a green 
closer to microwave than anything else. So I'm not shooting the laser right now. We're just taking optical uh, observations at the moment. But I literally just watched him drive off in a straight line, pretty much. Not entirely straight, I mean, for the first time it was. And he started going left to right on the shore. We're getting ready to re-record it because I kind of bumped the camera. It's kind of hard to zoom in, you know, that far and pan smoothly. So, anyway, we're kind of dealing with that kind of trouble right now. But he was sitting at the Yudelhoven tree, which for me, that's eight miles away. It's like 8.3 miles. I was looking right at it. I could see him waving at it. It's just uh, it's a little it's a little too hard for one guy to be standing here doing it all by himself. But, yeah. but well, my guy, I'm gonna uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be at service this upcoming. You're probably not either. But uh, let me let me clear up and, and I'll uh, I can I'll, I'll holler at you. All right, talk to you later. Who was that? That was John. What did he say? Oh, he's just, he's just going through the whole, oh man, I think the earth might be flat. And, uh, he just wants to know, he's like... No, dude, I don't even know... Dude, I don't know. It's just not the best feeling in the world. Going over the lake? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure it's not. Nah, that thing only does like 40, dude. <laughs> like, I, I was like, what? Like, coming back, I, mean, I wasn't pinned, but no, it's. Wow, well, dude, I, I think you'd be able to water skip. You got so much track and so much tub. Uh, the seams are huge. See this? Man, good that thing go over that. Smell it. Yeah, I smelled it too. I smelled it coming across the lake. I was like, why is this thing? Let it cool off. I think it's because you're running it on just flat. No, no nothing. Isn't that a liquid cooled? No, it's a fan. No, well. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, I'm I'm certain that Oh, you're calling me, aren't you? Just call me. Okay.
Well, it's going to die again, so.
when you got to the bend, I kind of lost you, and I just started. You see on that video, the watch started just ending. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of open water out there. I come across on the way back, and I didn't realize. So I wonder why there's so much water rolling to the sled. So you were skipping, huh? Yeah, we'll look at it. I'm going to get a video on the way back. And yeah, there's a couple of spots in there where it's like, you know, 30, 40 feet. You can do a straight straight water. All right, well, come back, come back, dude, because I lost you, and I don't think I'm going to be able to find you. Uh, I just didn't, uh, I mean, I, I kept you, but uh, at one point, it's like I, uh, I mean, dude, when I lose you, it, I walked away, uh, found you, and then I think you went to the bend, and then that's where I lost you, because I'm not exactly sure when I lost you. I was looking, and it was like, and I bumped it, and then I just couldn't see you again. Well, you know, I got you pretty good out there. I just don't, you know, I didn't, I couldn't talk to you, so I don't know where you were when you kept going or what. But, you know, that's that. That's the problem. Is I just. Oh, you're at the Unilhoven tree. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. I mean, then I must have just kept panning, thinking you were going on. No, because I got to the tree and I tried I just, ah, uh, there's just, I wish I had, really wish John cared enough to have picked up those flares, because I just can't, I can't find you. All right, so you're on your way back? Uh... One sec, let me pan with the cam. Yeah, Scott, I can't, I can't find you, dude. It's, it's way too hard for me, like, because you're constantly moving. I'm just sitting still. <laughs> uh. All right. You there? Head on back. Uh, and when the next time you ride out, we're going to do the laser. Fill you up, though. Go back. All right. All right, bye.
Are you alive? Are you okay? Oh, I see you. Oh, yeah, I see you. Okay. All right. Good stuff, all right. What's that?
Okay, I'm gonna be aiming it toward you here in just a moment, man, so be careful. Here it comes. Can you see it over on the shore? Okay, I'm falling way short of you. I'm looking right down it. That's the problem. All right, I'm going to start coming up with it. Am I hitting you right now? Yeah, it's on my jacket and all over the place. Okay, get your phone out and record that, all right? Huh? How big is it? How big is the laser, over? You came through as nothing but static. Over. I don't know when you can put it on to, to uh, like, so I, can, so I can see it, I guess. Use your telephone camera, hold it up to your eyes and turn around and put the glasses on, all right? But the, yeah, but the still needs to be hitting something. Uh, you said it was hitting you. Is it hitting you, like the beam itself, or no? Uh, I mean, I thought so, because, I mean, I can see it on the cowling. Okay, the culminator lens isn't on it. I'm going to start focusing it. You start talking to me, and you let me know. Does it get bigger or smaller? Bigger or smaller, all right? Can you start again? Over. I don't know. Try to focus it down, I guess. Now it's not even on. Okay, now it's coming, well, it was coming back. There, it's back on it. I didn't hear your last transmission. What'd you say over? I didn't hear you. Can you send can you send me another message over?
Okay. Okay. Thank God I can call. All right. I know I can't hear it. I can't hear it at all. So it's all right. I moved the generator away on the extension cord quite a ways. That's why it took so long for me to call. Yeah, I see that. All right. All right, right next to it. All right. Well, go ahead and uh, flash that film machine light at me again, dude, because it is my target. Like, it makes it so much easier to see where I'm aiming this thing. There it is. Okay. Don't look. I'm shooting it again. Okay. Is it on you? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, man? Oh yeah, I moved it. I moved it even further away. All right, my bad. Okay, I'm coming up. Am I hitting you? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, I'm on the target? Okay, how big is it? Is it way big or small or what? Is, is it just... Okay, so it's way bigger than the target. Is it bigger than the target? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna... It's really hard to do this with my phone. This stupid cord that I gotta juggle. I cannot just set my phone down because it's at 0% on the charger. Doesn't do good in the cold at all. Okay. Can you hear me? Okay. So I'm on the target. I'm going to start adjusting it. Let me know. Is it getting bigger? Or smaller? I think I'm getting bigger. Yeah, I'm definitely getting bigger. Okay, I can see that. Okay, well, Scott, I don't think it's going to get much. Am I on the target? Okay. I, well, I'm going to turn it back a ways. I think that's as small as it gets. I'm looking at it, and 
I can see almost all the way down the beam. It's still hitting you, right? Is it still hitting you? Okay, I'm going to put the culminator on. Because I don't think it's getting any smaller. So I'm shutting it off. Alright, 11 miles. All right, here we go. Am I hitting it? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, what about what about now? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, man? Okay, uh, sorry, it just keeps dropping. Yeah, okay, okay, I see that. Ah. How's that? Low? Low. Okay, am I hitting you? No, not yet. Okay, I'm coming up. Come down? Is it really big? Yeah. How big? Well, but bigger than a car is not a big deal. I mean, what I'm wondering 
is tell me is it getting smaller or bigger Are you recording? Okay, well, is it getting smaller or bigger? Do you know? Okay, I'm gonna keep adjusting it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one more time and then I'm gonna change the battery. Alright. Is it on target? It's getting bigger. Okay. Hey, can you hear me on the radio? Can you hear me on the radio? Over. Yeah, I can hear you on the radio. Yeah. Okay, dude, then just let's use the radios again because uh, and you start recording with your phone, okay? Okay, so that light, it's 11 miles away. All right, all right, actually, yeah, you're at 11. That's pretty good. Um, crap. I'm gonna change the batteries real quick, dude. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, the battery change is done. I've got to re-aim this thing though.
I didn't hear you. I just said all right. Okay. All right, hold on, dude. These batteries are not turning the laser on, so I got to do this again. All right, talk to me, man. Hey, can you hear me, man? Over. I can hear it. Like, out in the middle of the lake. I'm looking at the lake, and right, it's right about the middle. But, um, I got you on target a couple different times recording. 
Hey, how, I'm going to shoot it again. Let me know when I hit the target, okay? Because that plane, it's way up in the air. This isn't going to blind him. We'd have to point it at him. No, I know. I'm just letting you be aware. Am I hitting you or no? Can you hear me? Over. Can you hear me? Over. Okay, Scott. I got the, I got it recording, and just keep blinking your light because it can totally see it. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the laser on. Once I get it on your light, go ahead and turn your phone off. Once I get your laser near your light, just don't be looking at it, you know, or have it right in front of your eyes or something. And then. Um, I'm going to shine my flashlight along with my laser and just point your camera towards the laser and me because I want to see if you can see the laser and the flashlight because I think that'll be... Can you hear me on the radio, man? Over. Is your radio working right now, man? Over. Okay, sorry. I'm, I'm gonna try to get the phone in a spot where, it, where I can yell. All right. That ain't gonna work. Can you hear me? Okay, sorry, man. Okay, I got the video going. Yeah, it's already going. Oh, shoot. Oh, I caught it. Okay. This is really hard. You're, you're videoing right now? Can you hear me? Yeah. Sorry, okay, dude, it's like, so, I, there's like one spot I can stand. I'm trying to create a little thing I can rest the phone on. Okay, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I know, I know, one second, one second. Hold on, hold on. Creating a little tower out of clothes and a pillow in my toolbox. Okay. 
Can you hear me? Okay, hold on. Oh, I built, I built my tower just on the outs. One sec, dude. I built my stupid tower just out of reach of my power cord. Hold on. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay, this might work. Hold on. Just get it balanced, right? Yeah, yeah, I got it balanced. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay, Scott, last time. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Okay, dude, here's what I'm gonna do. Just start recording. I'm gonna shine my laser. Turn on your flashlight. You can have your flash on while you're recording, okay? That, that's something you can do. So do that so I have something to aim at and just, I'm gonna shoot it at you and then come back, okay? Okay, let's do it real quick and then let's go. Bye. Just get on. Okay, here we go. Where? Okay, where am I aiming, dude? Uh, just a second, bud.
trying to give you an idea of how big the beam is. Come down. All right, get out of there, dude. Go. Let's come back. Come here. All right. All right, bye. All right. Yeah, yeah, no problem, dude. All right. Bye. Bye. Well, I'll hang up whenever you hang up, but I'm, uh, I've got 1%, you got 5%, and, uh, I'm going to call, I'm going to call John, I'm going to call John, yeah, let's hang up, I'm going to call John and let him know, start heading this way, because I'm pretty packed up, I just need a little bit, what? Okay, bye. Hey, are you okay? Can you hear me? Can you, can, okay, well I'm trying to talk to you, so please, no sarcasm. Frankly, it's sickening. Anyway, we are, he's heading back to me right now. He'll be here in about 10 minutes. Okay? Um, can you start, are you able to start heading this way soon? Okay, Scott's on his way back. He's going to be back to me in about 10 minutes. I'm almost packed up, and, uh, I mean, I'm going to be throwing a bunch of stuff in the sled and whatnot, and then we're just going to yard the tarp out. So, anyway, what I'm saying is, is that maybe in, like, 10 minutes, start heading this way or something. Well, it's going to take me a little longer than All right, well, we still have to, that's probably fine. Like, that's probably 100% fine, because we got to pack up. 
Uh, duh. It's weird that you went out this late. Uh, I am All right, well, anyway, if you're listening to me, I don't know exactly where he's at yet because, but he's gonna call me when he gets to the tree, the Udalhoven tree. Oh, he's at those riches.
Hey, can you hear me? Can you hear me, man? Okay. Okay. Uh, I did lose you. I followed you a really long ways, and then you got to that bend that I taught said again. Once you got to the bend, I lost you. Um. So, because you, you, when you go around it, I can't see you. When after you go around it, I saw you go straight, 
and then we were gone. Like once you, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hey, can you hear me on the radio? Can you hear me on the radio? Okay, I can't stand near my telescope uh, when I talk to you. I have to stand like way over here. But um, I keep walking back over there and then the phone. I'll leave the server. I couldn't hear you on the way back, I mean, which sucks. I mean, oh. Where, where were they? Be behind you? Or... Okay, if they're behind you, that's fine. Um, I need to find you before I shoot the laser then, okay? So, uh, the, the problem is, is I lost you on the pan. So, man, I am so, st I don't want to walk back over to my telescope because, because uh, it's going to kill the phone. I've got five bars right now. I mean, the, oh, and now I just walk, I'm walking towards it. I hope it doesn't uh, die. I'm going to try to move the Jenny because I think the Jenny has something to do with it. And I think my camera might have something to do with it. But I'm running out of light. That's the problem for the telescope. Things are starting to get a little dark. But... All right. Let me move my camera because I know my camera has a radio in it too, and that can cause interference. So. You still there? Yeah. Okay, just uh, give me a moment here. Trying to get things. I know. I'm just trying to get everything moved, so. Oh, I can do this. All right. All right, I'm going to crouch down. Hopefully I don't... Oof, man, I don't like that. Oh, I'm going to have to... Okay. You're behind me, so I might have to be screaming for you to hear me. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Just let me know when I get quiet if I'm talking to you, okay? You can still hear me? Okay, one second. Uh, let me get this stuff out of the water. I got electricity stuff in the water. All right, you can hear me? Yeah. I think I see your people walking, actually. I do. I don't see the dog, but I do see them walking. All right, I'm going to keep panning. To... Oh, there's the dog. Yeah, nah, there's no, well, maybe they walked in here. They might be hiking. I don't see why you would versus cross country, cross country ski or something. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still panning. How far back are they from you? Oh, shoot. I don't even know where they're at. They're from me right now. All right. Well, I passed them, so I'm still going. 
Uh, do you think you could point the snow machine at me? With your headlight? I tracked you, by the way, dude. Probably not. Probably not, but uh, just a heads up, dude. I tracked you out so smooth. It was so easy. I mean, I had you in frame. I only lost you for a second, for like one second, one time. And uh, that was just me trying to play with another camera. But, uh... All right, turn the sled on. I might have you. I don't... Oops. Oh, yeah, I found you. Okay. There you are. All right, Scott, I'm going to put in my other eyepiece, dude. Um, Because you're pretty small. So I'm going to put in my, th my Barlow lens. I sure hope it's bright enough out here, dude. Because... Oh, I'm looking right at you. Alright, so I can turn the thing off? Uh yeah, shut her shut her down. Okay, yeah. Okay. Shut her down. I I'm gonna change I'm gonna put on my Barlow lens. So hold on. Cause you're pretty small, so I wanna I wanna blow you up some. And then I need to adjust my... Camera. And this is the focus. Yeah, I should be facing, like, directly at me. Okay. One second. One second. All right, turn your sled on. <laughs> I got you. All right. All right, man. Well, just continue on. Uh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't continue on. Hold on there. That's right. We're waiting. All right. Um, I'm going to get my laser. Pointing, because I've... Can you hear me? You can shut her down now, Scott. Oh, okay, yeah, all right. I got you. I've got you in view, like 100%. So... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, now I'm going to look down. I'm going to look to where... I'm, I'm just looking where I'm pointing, so I know where the Udelhoven tree is. All right. Yeah, I see where I'm pointing now. You're all right. You're all right. I, I'm not looking at the telescope right now, but I know where to aim now. All right. Yeah. I got to get my batteries in, dude. That's the thing. So hold on. In the laser, right? Yeah, I got to get them in the laser. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, hold on. Nah, you're all good. Oh, that's where that two pair is, and then I got the other, uh, man, I, oh, there it is, that's where it is, right there. All right. Dude, that's awesome, I got my, I got my highest mag, uh, lens on you. And uh, it's not as clear. The thing is, is the high zoom uh, lens, I can see the distortion. Plus the lens isn't nearly as clear as my other lens, my four millimeter, because it's kind of a cheap four. It's a cheap Barlow lens. So it's not really good glass, but I can see it really well. I mean, I mean, it's good. I'm not, I'm not fretting. I, I got you almost the entire way out. I mean, I had you up until the, whatever so to be able to see you go and then bring you back in i mean i just unless you were to cut across there at the cabin where it's open water i won't be able to track you through that spot oh i'm already way past the cabin oh i know you are i know you are oh, what, okay. what i'm saying is is i lose you every time there because i don't have a line of sight there's no line of sight there yeah because i gotta go back yep that's where I lost you. I mean, I literally followed you all the way to that point, and then I just sat there and sat there and sat there and sat there and thought I would see you eventually, but I didn't. Yeah. I didn't because I think I got impatient. If I had just sat there and waited, I think I would have uh, been able to. I think I would have seen you come into view in the background, but I would have had to have panned a little bit further to be able to do that. All right, so I'm pointing. Let me let me get my aim back again. Yep, towards that thing there. All right, it's a very small target that I'm aiming at here. Oh, and I need my wrench. That's right. So I'll get that thing aimed in. One sec, I gotta find the wrench. Uh, I had it. I knew exactly where it was. Yeah, it was in that bag, wasn't it? Yeah, I got it now. It was in my back pocket. I knew I had like grabbed it at some point. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm gonna do it without the culminator first. So. I'm on, I'm live, so I'm gonna turn it on, see if I can see it. No, I can't. I can't see it. Yeah, I can't see nothing either. So I won't be able to aim it until then. Um, okay. My question is, now that you're there, Scott, I'm pretty sure, dude, if you want to keep riding out further, like, I'll tell you when I lose you. Um, if you want to let your headphones charge a little bit or something, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how long it takes for your headphones to charge in that pack, but... Cause yeah, dude, I can I can follow you even further. Like, all 
That's up to you, though. You want to just keep going? Yeah, and then I can, uh, when, when it gets dark enough, we can just stop, and I'll shoot at you. All right. That's up to you, though. Do you want to do that? Okay, well, put your earbud in because. Yeah, just the end of the earbud right here. Yep, I can hear you. Oh, perfect. All right. All right, ready when you are. Yeah. What's up? Remember, try to stay down by the water, uh, by the shore, because it's hard to see you against the trees. What? Try to stay next, uh, down in the snow as much as you can, because it is hard to see you against trees. So if there's a low, if there's a low path, always take the low path. Yep, I can hear you. I I see you too, dude.
There's a snow machine coming my way, man. I got a snow machine coming my way. I can hear them in the distance. Somebody on a snow machine or an airplane is coming my way. I can just hear them way off in the distance. Anyway, keep going. Hey, Scott, go ahead and stop. Stop and turn around so you can, I can see your headlight. Well, I'm looking for you. I was following you and I looked away for a second, but I shouldn't have done that because uh, it is really hard to see you now. Well, it was really hard to see you when you finally went out of view. Uh, but do you know where you are on the map? You came in completely garbled. It's the first time you've come in garbled. What'd you say? I'm on 1819 because I already knew once I got around this corner, this this tip of this point's going to be in the way of me and you. Oh, okay, okay. Well, if that's the case, if you're at 1819, I don't have my map. I don't know where it's at. Let me find it real quick. It's like a left hand. Oh, you're at 1819. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna, I can't, I, I won't be able to see you again until you are at the final location at the 10 mile, at the 14 mile mark. Yeah, like mile 18 or whatever. 
uh, mile 14. So it'll be, uh, yeah, 24, 25. Yeah, anywhere between 24, 25, and a little before then I'll be able to see you. So I'm looking, I'm going to look at my telescope real quick. You say you're at 18, 19. Okay, so yeah, you went out of view around the corner. Okay. Uh, well, unless you're back at, uh... I found you, I found you. Yep, I see you. The problem is, is right now you're right at the tree line. So I have a really hard time following you unless you're down in the snow. But I suspect you can't do that in that area. Spooky. Yeah, it looks spooky. Yeah, don't do it then. Okay, if you've got to ride up by it, just... Man, I wish you had a flare because I'd be able to follow you with a flare. But um, just uh, keep going, keep going, and I'm going to try my best. I'm going to get in really close to my camera lens, turn my brightness all the way up. All right, man. Oh, go, go, go. I got a hole in the clouds, and you just got a whole lot brighter. Go. Go ahead and go, man. Well, well, you're at 1819. Yeah. Okay, well, shoot, just I'm just looking at the sun, dude, and I can see I don't know. I mean, shoot, let's just call it here. That's uh that's 11 miles I can see you. Um and I could see you moving up until that point to the point that I lost you, not your headlight but you. So, uh, yeah, just stay there and we're going to wait until, uh, until I can see the laser. Okay. okay. All right. All right. This would be a good point, I guess. Yeah. Well, 10 miles, dude, that's, that's awesome because then you'll be able to race to the 14 mile in time. Okay, I need to figure out where this thing's aiming. I'm gonna turn the sled off though. Go ahead, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Do you do you still have the sled on? Can you turn it turn it back on for just a second, man? I'm gonna I'm gonna hang up. I'm gonna record the telephone for a second so I can fill in the continuity break later. I mean, I got the stealth cam going, but I don't know if it's dead or not. All right. I'm going to turn on the camera. I don't know if it's going to kill the, uh, I don't know if it's going to kill our phone call. Hold on. Are you there? Hold on, my phone just shut down. I don't know why.
All right. My, I think my thing just perma turned off. It does that when it's cold. It just shuts off. All right, there he is, 11 miles away. Ugh. And he's way over there. That's 11 miles way out there. We got a four millimeter lens on with a three times Barlow lens. Now we're gonna go to the laser and uh, go from there. You can shut it off now. Sorry about that, my phone died right as I was going to do it. Yeah, I got it, you can shut her down. Go take your piss. You know, the clarity has actually increased now that the temp has gone down. And uh, I can actually somewhat make out the sled. Did you shut it down, though? Over? Hey, can you hear me? Copy. Over. Hey, can you hear me, man? Can you hear me on the radio? Over. Hey, if you're making any transmissions to me, I cannot hear them. I, I'm not getting them at all, okay? Over. Hey, can you hear me, man? Are you there? Over?
Okay, you came through momentarily there. Can you can you repeat that? Hold the button for a second. Over. Well, I'm just wondering what what you said or whatever. Okay, so you you can hear me. That's right. Over. Hey, can you hear me? Over. Okay, it seems like it might be kind of intermittent, um, but uh, yeah, could you, uh, I, I, I can't see the fire, can you still, uh, I'm still talking by the way, I'm walking over to my phone, I just don't know if it's where I'm standing affects whether you can hear me or not, can you still hear me, over? All right, is the sled off or is it on? Because um, I, I think I'm gonna shoot the laser. I think it's I think it's dim enough, dude. Yeah, man, I can see the laser. It's go time. Go time. Turn that sled on so I have a point to shoot at. Please, over. Hey, it sounds like the sled is on, but I don't see the headlight anymore. Over. Hey, can can you hear me, man? Are you there? Talk to me. Over. Okay, well, I'm going to try to shoot towards you, dude. I just, I, I need to, oh, it was nice seeing that light because it gave me exactly where I needed to shoot. Oh, I see you walking. I see you walking around, actually. There it is. Yeah, okay. I can see you through the, one more time. Can you, right there, okay. Right there. Um, I'm going to start aiming towards you. Do not look, okay? Don't look. Okay, I'm like aimed pretty much directly at you, but I'm hitting the snow. So I'm gonna aim it up here in a moment. One second, over. Hold on, I'm gonna turn the, I'm gonna crank this bolt up a little bit more so it's a little easier for me to adjust and I'm gonna do this again, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna be aiming it toward you here in just a moment, man, so be careful. Here it comes. 
Can you see it over on the shore? Oh yeah, I'm falling way short of you. I'm looking right down it. That's the problem. All right, I'm gonna start coming up with it. Am I hitting you right now? Yeah, it's on my back and all over the sled. Okay, get your phone out and record that, all right? Huh? How big is it? How big is the laser? Over. You came through as nothing but static. Over. I don't know when you can put it on to, to uh, like, like it, so I can see it, I guess. Use your telephone camera. Hold it up to your eyes and turn around and put the glasses on, all right? But the, yeah, but the still needs to be hitting something. Uh, you said it was hitting you. Is it hitting you? Like the beam itself or no? Uh, I mean, I thought so because, I mean, I can see it on the cowling. Okay, the culminator lens isn't on it. I'm going to start focusing it. You start talking to me, and you let me know. Does it get bigger or smaller? Bigger or smaller, all right? Can you start again? Over. I didn't hear your last transmission. What'd you say over? I didn't hear you. Can you send can you send me another message over?
Okay. Okay, thank God I can call. Alright. I know I can't hear it. I can't hear it at all. So yeah. it's all right. I moved the generator away on the extension cord quite a ways. That's why it took so long for me to call. All right, yeah, I was flashing the headlight. <laughs> yeah, I see that. All right. Okay. Yeah, I set the target up right next to the zone. All right, right next to it. All right. Well, go ahead and uh, flash that snow machine light at me again, dude, because it is my target. Like, it makes it so much easier to see where I'm aiming this thing. There it is. Okay. Don't look. I'm shooting it again. Okay. Is it on you? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, man? Oh yeah, I moved it. I moved it even further away. All right, my bad. Okay, I'm coming up. Am I hitting you? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, I'm on the target? Okay, how big is it? Is it way big or small or what? It's as big as the target. Is, is, is it too? Okay, so it's way bigger than the target. Is it bigger than the target? Yeah. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna, it's really hard to do this with my phone. This stupid cord that I gotta juggle. I cannot just set my phone down because it's at 0% on the charger. Doesn't do good in the cold at all. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So I'm on the target. I'm going to start adjusting it. Let me know. Is it getting bigger? Or smaller? I don't, I don't know. Now you're not on the target anymore. Okay, now you're back on it a little bit. I think I'm getting bigger. Yeah, I'm definitely getting bigger. Okay, I can see that. Okay, well, Scott, I don't think it's going to get my... Am I on the target? Yeah, it's on the target. Okay. As small as it's going to be? I, well, I'm going to turn it back a ways. I think that's as small as it gets. I'm looking at it, and 
I can see almost all the way down the beam. It's still hitting you, right? Is it still hitting you? Uh, it's in the target. Yeah, it's on the target. Okay, I'm going to put the culminator on because I don't think it's getting any smaller. So I'm shutting it off. All right, 11 miles. All right. Here we go. Am I hitting it? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. What about what about now? Can you hear me? Can you hear me, man? Okay, uh, sorry, it just keeps dropping. How's that? Low? It's low. Okay, am I hitting you? No, not yet. Okay, I'm coming up. Well, you're going down. Come down with it. Come down? Is it really big? Yeah. How big? Well, but bigger than a car is not a big deal. I mean, what I'm wondering, 
is tell me is it getting smaller bigger Are you recording? No, I'm on the phone. That's what I was going to say. Is I can't really record anything here. Okay. Well, is it getting smaller or bigger? Do you know? Well, right there, you were just lighting up the whole board. Yeah, right there. I can't tell if it's smaller or bigger because I got it. The only way I'm going to know is tell if it's changing. Okay, I'm gonna keep adjusting it. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one more time, and then I'm gonna change the batteries. All right. All right. Is it on target? It's getting bigger. Okay. Hey, can you hear me on the radio? Can you hear me on the radio? Over. Yeah, I can hear you on the radio. Okay, dude, then just let's use the radios again because uh, and you start recording with your phone, okay? Okay, so that light is 11 miles away. All right, all right, actually, yeah, you're at 11, I appreciate it. Um, crap. I'm gonna change the batteries real quick, dude. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, the battery change is done. I've got to re-aim this thing, though. I, 
I didn't hear you. I just said all right. Okay. All right, hold on, dude. These batteries are not turning the laser on, so I got to do this again. All right, talk to me, man. Hey, can you hear me, man? Over. I can hear you, you heard me. You got a plane in the middle Like, out in the middle of the lake. I'm looking at the lake, and it's right, it's right about the middle. But, um, I got you on target a couple different times. Recording. 
Hey, how I'm gonna shoot it again. Let me know when I hit the target, okay? Because that plane, it's way up in the air. This isn't gonna blind him. We'd have to point it at him. No, I know. I'm just letting you be aware. Am I hitting you or no? Can you hear me? Over. Can you hear me? Over. Well, I can't hear you, and that's what the problem I'm having is. You might be receiving me, but I can't hear you. Over. Well, what about now? It seems like it's huge, dude. It's the whole way down the beach here. I got it on video. Okay, but am I on target right now? Okay, just make sure you hit the button cuz I'm having a hard time. I'm trying to I'm trying to talk to you, man. Dude, just keep talking to me. Just don't stop talking. Keep transmitting because I need input about what's going on. All right, can you hear me? Over. No, I, I, I can't hear you. I mean, I heard you then perfectly clear. Like, it's perfectly clear when you're coming through. Like, not even staticky. So, but when this transmission ends, I'm going to turn the laser back on and just talk to me. Tell me, like, what's going on. Because I have no idea what to be doing with this thing. Um, because it seems like I'm going to have to somewhat hand aim it some. All right, I'm turning it on. Start talking to me.
Hey Scott. Hey Scott. Can you do me a solid real quick? Shut the snow machine off, okay? Good. All right, there it goes. All right, I'm gonna. I'm trying to see if I can see it with the telescope. That that was all garbled static. I couldn't make out a word of what you said. What was that? Copy that. All right. Okay, um, what, what, I, I don't know where to aim anymore, it's just too, it's kind of dark, but, I mean, I can see across, but I don't know where the snow machine is anymore. What about now? The thing is, is sometimes you're super clear, and other times you're nothing but garbled trash, and I cannot hear it, anything you're saying. All right, well, dude, I, I don't I don't know what you're saying. That's the problem. I, I keep hearing your transmission, and it sounds like you're hearing mine fine, but yours sound like crap. What's up? All right, well, um, here, try to talk to me, though, because I don't, oh, I think I just nuked these batteries. Um, come on back to the Udelhoven tree. I think these batteries just went kaput. So. Okay, uh, okay. Can you hear me? Like, I got you on target, like, multiple times. All right. That was pretty good. Like, the whole target was lit up, and then, like, my screen just looks like a blue sun. 
All right. All right, well, I, I don't expect this mule to just get it onto the target, dude. We're shooting 11 miles. Like... Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, um, like I don't care. If, like, if someone want to hurt me do that, I'd say, please. All right. All right, well, can you head to the can you head to the Udelhoven tree? And I'm going to see if another set of batteries are going to fire, but I think these ones are dead. Um, yeah. Well, I have a set, I have the set that I took out originally, and the thing is, um, it should have fired, dude. I mean, they should have fired, but they didn't. They just didn't fire at all. And so I'm going to try them again. I don't know why. I don't know if there's a cool down on the laser or something, but anyway, just call me when you get to the Udelhoven tree on the radio or on here, okay? All right, buddy. All right, thanks, man. Bye.
dude. I, I don't I don't know what you're saying. That's the problem. I I keep hearing your transmission. That's Caribou Island. I'm gonna change the battery real quick, dude. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Here you. I just said all right. Okay. Got a plane coming across a lake. Shoot, I'm still recording. Oh, excuse my language. Ah. 
wrap my ear pierce like my earpiece like four times now. Right. <laughs> Look at that plane. Hey, be careful with that boss. We got a plane coming across the lake, like right at my 12. So just be careful with that laser there, boy. Yeah, I can hear. I don't know if you heard me, but you got a plane right above me. Like, out in the middle of the lake. I'm looking at the lake, and it's right... It's right about the middle. But, um... I got you on target a couple different times recording. I'm gonna shoot again. Let me know when I hit the target, okay? Because that plane is way up in the air. This isn't gonna blind him. You have to point it at him. No, I know. I was just letting you be aware. Ah, uh, you're just up in the corner of it. There you go. There you go. Nah, you gotta come down. Yeah, I can hear you. You gotta come down, I think. Okay, I think you gotta come up because it's in the snow ahead of me. I'm videotaping it. about now it seems like it's huge dude it's the whole way down the beach here I got it on video okay but am I on target right now no dude you're like 10 yards ahead of me okay there you're hitting me so you must have just been on target for a s you just hit me a little bit but you must have been on target for a second. I got you on target though. I have you a couple times on target prior. Okay, you were just in the trees above me. Oh, 
Well, there it was on the target for just a second. Yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? No, I, I, I can't hear you. I, mean, I can hear you. You're coming through, like not even static. So, but when this transmission ends, I'm going to turn the laser back on and just talk. Tell me, like, what's going on. Because I have no idea what to be doing with this thing. Um, because it seems like I'm going to have to somewhat hand aim it some. All right. All right, I'm turning it on. Start talking to me. All right, hang on. You're on the target right now. You're on the, t uh, right there, right there. Whatever you, wherever you just were. Right there, oh darn it. Alright, well you're shining in my camera at least, so... You were on the target a little bit. That beam is huge though. Yeah, come down. You gotta go down with it. Shut this door machine off, okay? No, I wasn't saying nothing. Uh, I wasn't saying anything. I was waiting for you to get close to it or whatever. Copy that. All right. <laughs> Uh, you gotta go way left. Okay, you keep coming a little to the left and then uh, down. 
All right, try coming down. Yeah, okay, you're hitting. <laughs> Oops, I mean, you're hitting me in the target, dude. That sucker's bright. Even in my camera, things freaking just blinding. Uh, I said you were hitting me and the target. The thing was just freaking blinding even through my camera. That's the edge of the lake, the ice build up there. And this is... The Udehoven, Udehoven tree. And Caleb is four miles that way. I do it again a couple times just to double just make sure I got it good. Are you there? Shoot, my battery is at 15% on my phone. Yeah, my phone's at 15%, but um, I don't know. I'm going to set this target up, I guess, uh, by the sled.